Hello and a very warm welcome once again. So last night I put together a very quick video um, showing that my observations from, from Traprain Law in East Lothian uh, that disprove the flat earth actually held a hidden gem. And this is a slightly longer version of that video. So the picture we're looking at at the moment was taken from Traprain Law uh, with the camera at 210 meters. And it shows Byers Hill and a monument on top of Byers Hill, the Hopeton Monument. Byers Hill is near Haddington in East Lothian in Scotland. It's quite close to Traprain Law. It's about eight kilometers away. And I, I knew of uh, Byers Hill and um, the Hopeton Monument because I used to live in Haddington and uh, I'd actually climbed the hill and the monument uh, on several occasions. I used to go up to the top of Byers Hill to um, pick wild blackberries in the autumn, uh, make blackberry and apple pies with them. And I've climbed to the top of the monument before. There's a spiral staircase leading to the top. Now, when I planned my trip to Traprain Law, it didn't occur to me that the combined height of the monument and the hill would actually be useful to me. And I probably should have researched it a little better. So there's the monument, and it turns out that Byers Hill is 181 meters above sea level at the top. And the monument is 29 meters above sea level at the top. That's a total of 210 meters. Now, don't be fooled by these trees here. The monument itself is placed right at the highest point on Byers Hill. The camera, as many of you will know if you've seen my other videos, is also at 210 meters above sea level on Traprain Law. What an amazing coincidence. Wait a second. Is there a flat earth destroying ghostly shadow just here? Let's find out. So I've adjusted the levels of that image in GIMP, GIMP2. And what have we here? Looks like a mountain to me. And here, another one. So I wonder which ones they are. Well, looking on Peak Finder, we can see that we're looking um, from um, Traprain Law in a westerly, slightly northwesterly direction. Cairnoch Hill is here, which was uh, near to the bridge behind the center and north towers of the bridge. We have Stronend that you've probably heard of from my other videos if you've watched any of them. And here are some taller peaks. Can you tell which peaks are the ones in the image you were just looking at? Well, congratulations if you chose these two. Ben Lomond and Ben Nairnane. Excuse me for getting a bit tongue-tied there. So these two peaks appear to be the ones in the video that includes the Hopeton Monument. The hill in the foreground here in, includes Byers Hill and uh, another hill nearby. They're, they're, they're done in a very crude sketch form here as a sort of straight line. So, top of the monument is at 210 meters. And we can draw a line along uh, across the image. Now, it looks perpendicular to the tower for me. So we can be pretty sure that's a, a horizontal, pretty close to horizontal level line if the earth was flat. Here is Ben Lomond at 974 meters above sea level at the peak and 124.6 kilometers from the camera. 
And here is Ben Narnain, 926 metres above sea level and 134.9 kilometres from the camera. Don't forget the rules of perspective. The camera is also at 210 metres. The red line represents eye level or camera level. Nothing that is more than 210 metres can appear below the red line on a flat earth. And yet, there is Ben Lomond, there is Ben Narnane, below the line, considerably below the line. And they are much, much taller above sea level, higher above sea level than 210 metres. Now, I don't know who made this animated GIF. Uh, one of my commenters, I've forgotten who it was now, I should give them a shout out and I've forgotten. I'll try and remember and put that in the description. Um, posted it in a link. It's not theirs, apparently. Oh, I was Music God. Music God. Shout out to Music God. I'll put a link to their channel in the description. Um, but this GIF, this animated GIF, explains eye level and perspective really very well. So well, in fact, that even Nathan Oakley should be able to understand this concept. He even features in the GIF. So the red line is eye level. They've even placed a wall in the way and you see the tops of those hills remain visible. This is actually the start of the GIF. This is similar to my soda cans uh, picture in some one of my previous videos. So I'm not the first person who's had the idea of stacking soda cans or beer cans on top of each other to demonstrate this. You can clearly see and it doesn't matter how far away from the camera the objects go, those, that, those parts that are above eye level remain above eye level all the way back into the distance. They can never go below the line. They can never drop below eye level. They get smaller or apparently smaller from the top and apparently smaller from the bottom but they never, the parts that are above eye level never drop below eye level. And the parts that are below eye level never come up above eye level. This is what perspective is. This is how perspective works. Now I wonder whether I can find an even better still shot from my other videos. So I had a little look around and I found this. Now you might look at it and go, well, that's not better than the other one. And in a way it isn't. The monument is blurred because I was panning quite quickly to the left. And it's slightly uh, angled. It's not vertical in the image because the camera must have been slightly tilted as I panned it. But, although the camera's a bit tilted, it seems to have a third peak here on the right-hand side. I can just make out Ben Lomond, Ben Narnane, but there on the right-hand side appears to be another image. So when we, uh, another peak, sorry. So when we adjust the levels, it does indeed come into clear view. There is a third peak. There it is wonder which peak that is. So looking back at our peak finder uh, horizon, we can see that there are indeed a couple of peaks here sort of lying in front of each other. And the tallest one is Ben Imi or I'm or M or however it's pronounced. It looks like that one. So using this image, their camera height, 210 metres on Traprain Law. Hopeton Monument, 210 metres at the very top. 
Our line, now this line is not perfectly perpendicular, uh, but the way it's drawn, it actually favors the flat earth rather than the globe earth. It should be angled slightly up on the right hand side to make it perpendicular to the monument, but it's close enough and it'll do for the purposes of this demonstration or this video. On a flat earth, nothing below the red line can be more than 210 meters above sea level. That's due to perspective, as we saw in the animated GIF. This peak is 200, sorry, 926 meters above sea level, 134.9 kilometers from the camera. This one, 974 meters above sea level, 124.6 kilometers from the camera. And this one, 1,011 meters above sea level, 136.9 kilometers from the camera. All of them are significantly below our 210 meter eye level line. This image, just like the one of the Queensferry Crossing Bridge and the hills behind that, this is impossible if the earth is flat. And yet this image has been captured by my camera at the top of Traprain Law. Anybody can go there. Anybody can climb Traprain Law or the Hopeton Monument and take pictures. Traprain Law, looking past the Hopeton Monument, is possibly your best bet. And you can get Ben Lomond in the background and the other hills in the background. You need clear day, you need good visibility. But you can take this picture. And this picture is impossible on a flat earth. 